Hello. It's Wednesday. It's work in progress Wednesday. And this week, I have been painting a big thing. So I had to use a different camera. I'd normally do this on my front camera, so if the audio quality is a bit different, it's because I'm using the built-in mic on the, the DSLR for the first time. I don't know if it's any good. It might be rubbish. It might be really loud, because I'm right. my head's right next to it. Who knows? This week, I did some work on my Corvus Blackstar. Um, he's a bit dusty. Makeup brush. It was like a buck fifty. It's great. Uh, yeah, got all the airbrush work done, mostly, and started blocking in the silver areas by hand. Um, this was all masking. If you're going to paint one of these by airbrush, then my recommended order for painting them and then masking them is do your gold bits over your black primer, um, and if you can get away with it as well, do like the engines and these guys down here. Do all of that, then mask those off before carrying on to do your red bits. So spray your red bits over the uh, now masked off gold areas, then mask off those red bits, and then do the rest of the actual black and the black highlighting. And then you can peel it all off, and then just paint in the silver areas with a brush. It's really easy. Uh, that's my advice. I did it in a different order. I did it gold, black, red. But because I did it that way, I ended up having to do gold, black, red, black again. Because I had to go back over the black. Because in order to get this smooth and not end up with like a little white line or a weird line of paint on the edges where the masking tape is, you kind of have to go over where you're going to mask, put the masking on, and then paint over that with the dark colour. So they need some touch-ups, quite a bit of spatter, but that was to be expected. And that's what weathering's for. So yeah, bit of a heat scorch effect on the engines there. That's just made with inks through the airbrush. So yeah, got the airbrush stuff done in about 20 minute bursts each time. I did 20, 20 minutes of work when I was waiting for something else to do and had, didn't have enough time to record anything, so I was just you know doing short bursts on this guy. So I did that this week. I also started practicing some more loaded brush. Um, let's zoom in on this, wrong way. And focus. We're good. So I've been practicing my loaded brush technique on this guy's coat. This guy's going with my Imperial Guard army, which I have a bio for now, which is great. Hi Rob. Not me. Different Rob. He wants to buy my Imperial Guard army, and I'm for, all for this because it's taking up space that I don't have. So yeah, this guy's was mostly just, I had like um, about an hour to kill. And I didn't want to paint anything on camera. And I just wanted to point out. Also, I painted all of this with these high intense. There we go. Master Series paints, high, high density pigment paints. That's why it's quite matte as a finish. It's a lot matter than I'm used to. Um, they're okay. They cover about as well as base paints from GW. The big difference is just how matte the finish goes. GW paints go quite uh, satiny, quite shiny, which I'm quite used to. The silver front of his sword here was with the true silver, which looks okay on camera until you get left. There's where's the angle? There it is. You can see that it's not actually covered great. From some angles, it's fine, but there, boom, you can see that it's actually not covering very well. The back of this is VMA silver. Uh, one coat, and you can see it's got a much better finish. Obviously, I didn't do the sides, I was just testing it out. So, yeah, this I don't recommend this, but Vallejo 
as always, the Vallejo Model Air Metallics. These are great. You should just own these. Just get the Metallics box set. I'll put a link. It'll be an affiliate link in the doobly-doo where you can get those on Amazon if there is an Amazon place to get them. There probably is. They're really good. They're the best metallics that I know of that you can paint or paint with, an air, with a regular brush. They go through with an airbrush pretty well. You need to thin them down a little bit, but yeah, I'm getting off topic. So yes, loaded brush. I'm practicing this. You'll see more of this in my videos because it's so fast. And I really enjoy doing it. So yeah, the, this section of his coat here, that took me about 15 minutes. I was about to go out. I was waiting for my partner um, and for my lift to arrive. And I was like, I'm just going to paint some of his coat, see how it turns out. And it turned out like this in about 15 minutes. And then came home and did the rest of him, doing the boots. So yeah, loaded brush. It's pretty great. It's really nice and fast for doing these blends. Um, could use a little touch up, a few glazes to soften up, soften out the highlights. It's a bit too shiny at the moment. But yeah, all going good. And ba bam, chosen axes. It's the test model. He's finished. There we go, that's in focus. Yeah, there we go, that's, that's in focus now. So, I had a bit of trouble with the metallics, not covering great. I didn't want to use an alcohol-based metallic, I tried to stick to GW paints on this guy as much as I could. The base has a VMA paint on it, um, but that's pretty much optional. So yeah, these guys, their tutorial will hopefully be going up on Patreon, for I have a Patreon now, and $10 Patreon, no, $5 patrons get early access to tutorials. So there'll be a link uh, there to the patron, Patreon. Yeah, $5 patrons get ac early access to tutorials by a full week. And $10 gets you behind the scenes footage. Um, which as I don't have any $10 patrons yet, I haven't made much of. But if I get more $10 patrons, you'll be seeing more me kind of showing work in progress videos and talking about things as I do them and try them out. Possibly even just posting up screenshot guides as I work on things so you get much faster access to all of my informations rather than having to wait for the videos the full, fully edited videos. So yeah, that's the test model. I've got two other members over here who have done their base, done their beards, the skin on their bases. Basically anything that wasn't metallic. Uh, I've also done their little loincloths. So I've basically just got the metallic bits and the black handles of their weapons to do. Left on these guys and then they're done. And the leader, I haven't done much on camera for him yet. Um, I've got all of the beard and skin that was left to do that I was doing on this guy. He's all on camera now for his beard and skin. And then I'll be switching over to painting this guy because he's much easier to see to see me paint on because he's got this big open stance here. And he's got the cooler base with the big skull on it. So yeah, this guy will be on camera, and I haven't started recording that yet, but I will, because I had, I didn't get a lot done this weekend because of personal reasons. And yeah, so this video, the Chosen Axes video, should be going up, not the Saturday, this Saturday coming, but the Saturday after. I will be recording the final stages of painting this guy at the weekend coming up this weekend and then hopefully editing it that same weekend on the Tuesday probably and then patrons will get it uploaded um, as soon as I can and then the rest of the rest of the world will get it a week after that 
But if you keep an eye on the Patreon, you'll see when things get uploaded anyway. And then I'll also post you know, when stuff. It's, it's going to be a kind of community hub. Also, the Discord. There is a Discord. Um, I don't know if I can put a link to it on the screen, but I'll put a link uh, down below in the doobly-doo to the Discord server if you want to hang out and chat. I will be in there. You can ask me questions. So, yeah. Soon, patrons get it a week early. $5 patrons get it a week early. $10 patrons get behind-the-scenes footage. $20 patrons, just to say thank you, get their name in the credits, which will scroll up on the screen on each of the tutorials. And if you want to pledge a large amount of money, your $50 then you get to be pro-painted, and I will give you a specific shout-out uh, in each video that you sponsor. Note this only counts for tutorials. The vlog-type content and the unboxing-type content, that will all just go up as usual as I make it on YouTube. So, Work in Progress Wednesdays will always be on Wednesdays. Patrons don't get that early. Um, unboxings, they will always go up basically the day that I make them, usually usually a Saturday or a Sunday, sometimes a Monday for those. Um, but the video tutorials, my bread and butter as it were, those will be going up on Patreon, Patreon first. So if you want access to those earlier than everyone else, you need to get to yourself on Patreon. You also get to vote I forgot to mention this, every single patron gets to vote on what I'm doing next. So the current August poll is up and Currently winning is Spike Claw Swarm, so I'll probably, unless people sign up to change the vote, I'll probably be painting Spike Claw Swarm in August, and also probably Necromunda Goliaths, because they're also doing quite well in the poll at the moment. But it could all change, and I do have power of veto if there's just something I really want to paint. So what have I, also have I got coming up personally? I'll Death Watch Part 2, this chap. Ooh. And Deathwatch Part 2 of the details will be coming up um, in July. Uh, Chosen Axes in July. Spike Claw Swarm in August, probably. All depends on the Patreon. I'm also going to have Deathwatch Part 3 uh, in August, which will just be doing snow bases. But ba doing base videos is quite quick. Um compared to doing the painting videos, which just the editing time that takes the time on the painting videos. I spend like a full 10 hours editing each video. Um, I'm going to try and shift to a new format, hope it, and give it a try, where I narrate while I'm painting, and just kind of concentrate on a specific section, paint that section. Oops. So I'd like to concentrate on just this beard, and then paint that beard up while narrating how I'm what I'm doing, and then go off paint the rest of it, rest of the stuff that's painted the same way off camera, and then come back and show you say painting this loincloth cloth from the front there, then go off do the back off camera, that kind of thing. At the moment I'm doing everything on camera, and then having to do the voiceover and the editing and the cutting all in uh, Premiere later on, and it takes a very, very long time. So if I if I get any good at doing narration while I'm painting, then I'll be doing that. If it's rubbish, then I'll just go back to the old method. But trying to find a, a way to make the editing of the videos faster will mean I get more time to actually do painting, which is what I want to be doing. Uh, these vlog videos don't take much editing because I don't edit them, I just kind of ramble on. So there we go. Let's see, how is the sound quality on this? I hope it was okay. I've got a lapel mic uh, knocking about, but I need a battery for it. And I don't have one because it's not just a tiny little watch battery type, type deal. So that's it. I also picked up some Storm Boys from Orcs which I'm probably not going to get around to doing a video painting tutorial on them anytime soon. Um, but the video tutorials are at the whims of the patrons. So whatever the patrons want, the patrons get. And, uh, yeah. 
that's it. I don't have a good sign off. Um, paint all the models. That's my new slogan. It shows up on the end screen, which is probably going to be here. End screen. It'll be over here where my hand is. But not over here where this hand is. Over here, in future, will be spinny models and such. So, paint all the models. Do it. Paint them all. Reduce your pile of shame. Because I'm not. I'm not reducing mine. I'm making it bigger. Bye.